I yep. would love to see a uh, cinematic match with uh, The Undertaker, The Wyatt, and Chad Gable somehow involved. I think that, that would be cool. cool. That would actually be cool. So, Bill, let me ask you something. We're in the wrestling time machine. What are some of the best cliffhangers that we've had in wrestling, in your opinion? Well, in the, back in the, if we're going in the time machine, let's go way back to even the 70s when Bruno San Martino was WWF champion. And <clears throat> he'd wrestle somebody to a no contest. They'd have him back at the garden for a second match with some sort of a uh, no contest again. And then the cliffhanger would be that third match. What's going to happen? Those were yeah. great cliffhangers. Cliffhangers in the Magnum TA Nikita Koloff best of seven when they were three and three each. Who was going to take that seventh match? Yes. Oh my God, we all waited. So, wrestling, pro wrestling is all cliffhangers. And it should be. Uh, that's the thing. Like, you know, we saw. What about you? Men- Wait, what, what about you? What, what, yeah, I'm thinking, thinking back to some of the TV moments that are cliffhangers. And I'm thinking Vince McMahon's limo exploding at the end oh, of man. Raw. Uh, <clears throat> things like that to me are what stand out. You know, just that last minute. Like, or how about the Brian Pillman and Steve Austin gun incident oh, uh, on TV? That was a cliffhanger. Things that made you come back to see what happens next. And I like that in wrestling. Mm -hmm. So I did like the way they handled the Rhea Ripley situation at the end of Raw uh, just the other night. Uh, I was talking also about Tiffany Stratton. You got this right, Bill. You said Tiffany Stratton would walk away a winner and money in the bank. And she did. She did because she's the, nothing wrong with any of the other ladies. I think Chelsea was very close, but in terms of marketing, and viable for a match against one of the champions it's got to be her she looks tremendous she's got that athletic background um my question is i don't know when this is going to happen but the women's division has changed so much what's going to happen in your opinion when charlotte flair clicks that button and says i'm ready to come back I think a lot of women are going to have to step up. Um, and that's going to be something that's going to be difficult. And, you know, this is kind of similar to what AEW has a problem with, Bill, um, and probably a lot more so in AEW. But there's only a handful of people that can probably keep up with Charlotte and really give you a great match. In AEW, there's a handful of people that can give you great match, period. Um, in the women's division, they're just not ready yet. Um, but Charlotte coming back is going to draw out the best in a lot of people, yes. or a lot of people are going to sink one or the other. Yes. And by the way, uh, something that's also not on our run list, the Wyatt Six, I'm very glad that they did not interfere in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match to cost Chad Gable I thought when he was hanging there, the lights were going to go off, yeah. and then he'd be he'd be gone. So I'm glad that they didn't do that because I think everybody knows at this point that my feeling is with the Wyatt Six that maybe once a year just to pay tribute to Bray Wyatt. So now that um, uh, his brother was in with Adam Pierce and not looking like anything monstrous or anything, maybe they've had a change of heart and they're going to do something else and not have this whole dark thing go i don't know i i think his latest promo and i could have read it wrong but i i took a part of it where he said i set them free so they can be themselves uh without the mask that tells me that we're going to see the faces of the people behind the mask those are the ones who are going to be wrestling Um, and that makes a lot more sense Um, it goes back to more along the lines of the original Wyatt family if you remember I always said I love the Louisiana nut job kind of uh, characters that they played because they were believable because there are people that are crazy like that out there and if you can put that on TV where it feels real and creepy that's where it needs to be in today's day and age in my opinion Yeah, I want to see Bo Dallas as Maybe a creepy Bo Dallas. Yeah, now I think that's what we're going to see. I think Bo Dallas is going to be Bo Dallas in the ring. And uh, Uncle Howdy only comes out in his mind. I think what we're seeing now, it seems like they're starting to go to where we're seeing things that he sees in his mind. Yeah, making it a little more believable. I would love to see a uh, cinematic match with uh, The Undertaker, 
the Wyatt and Chad Gable somehow involved. That would be cool. That would actually be cool. Check out Brain Buster, the daily quiz that tests your WWE knowledge with winning streaks, stats, and more. It's time to see if you're up for the challenge. Let me ask you, uh, there's some rumors going around, Bill, and maybe you can help this. It's very hard for me to believe this rumor, but it's going around that Natalia may be headed to AEW. Mm -hmm. Is that a possibility? I don't buy it at all. I think she's I don't totally, either. I think she's totally loyal to WWE. Totally loyal. I can't again it's a rumor. Yes. Um I, I can't see it. She's been WWE for so many years. That company has taken great uh care of her. She's been oh, dedicated yeah. to that company and you know the whole lineage of the uh the Hart family other than the Owen Hart tournament going on in AEW has been WWE. Yes, yes. I, it, it would seem strange. It wouldn't be a fit for me. I, seeing her go over there would just seem odd. I don't even think she would, just like a lot of the other WWE talent that has gone over there, she'd just get lost anyhow. I wouldn't go there if I were her unless it just hey, came down to she needed a job. Well, well, um, while we're, we're talking off off the bulletin board here, yeah. is you know what else drove me crazy? Last week when they forced Taz um, to leave the broadcast spot. And then they were talking about Taz's protege, Hook. Everybody knows it's his kid. Yes. Why don't they acknowledge, acknowledge it? Acknowledge it. That on AEW TV, unless, you know, Taz doesn't want it personally, but everybody knows. Yes, I, I agree. The, it, when people know what's going on, you almost need to make uh, reference to the fact that this is why it's happening. Uh, yeah, protege, come on and now. He can't come back. Taz can't come back due to um, uh, stuff with his body that he couldn't work again in the ring at this point uh, against Chris Jericho. What do you think of the new incarnation of Chris Jericho, the learning tree guy? I find it mildly entertaining, I guess I could say. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's not horrible. It's not great. Uh, it's just... It is what it time? is. It's, it's creepy. <laughs> is it annoying to you sometimes? Oh, yes. Hi, thank, you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Everybody loves me. Everybody loves me. You know, and, and yet everybody hates him and he knows it, <laughs> uh, which is <laughs> it's just great. Look here, I want to mention uh, somebody else, too, that we have not heard from in quite some time. We are in the wrestling time machine. And that name is AJ Lee, CM Punk's wife. Yeah. Uh, he was asked recently if uh, she might be coming back uh, to wrestling. And he said this. It's really all on her. She's busy. I'm super proud of her. She's doing her own thing. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this stuff. She's got a production company started up. She's writing TV, movies, all kinds of stuff. And laughably, I always say I'm a bad husband because I never know what project she's talking about. Oh, I have a meeting, she'll say. And I'm like, with who? Is it Netflix, Hulu, CBS? I don't know. She's got so many irons and so many different fires. And that was the end of his uh, comment on AJ Lee getting in. But I, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's great. Uh, I have seen some stuff that she has done recently uh, outside of wrestling, which uh, I think is fantastic. And uh, it, she looks like she's extremely happy. I can't imagine that she'd want to get back on the road and live that lifestyle again anytime soon. No, but for a shot here and there, like Trish Stratus. Yes. That, who looked incredible, by the way, at, uh, at the last... Oh, she she never ages, Bill. I, oh. Every time I see her, she just she I swear she doesn't age. She doesn't go backwards. She just sits in that one time period, and you just look at her. You're going, she looks amazing, and she does. She does. But AJ Lee, I'd like to see her back periodically. You know, I assume that she keeps herself in really really great shape, and it wouldn't be too difficult for her to go in and uh, do a match or two. Who do you think? Uh, just just throwing it out there, you know, here we just kind of dream matches. If she came back into WWE, who would be some good opponents for AJ Lee? Put her against that new girl that they're really pushing, uh, Lyra Valkyrie. Yes. I, I think that would be a really good match. I, she, you know, she she's small in stature. She's a little bit different right. than a lot of girls. Uh, mm -hmm. So we, you got to put her in there with somebody that she fits well with, and uh, that may be good. I haven't dreamed about that match yet. You just threw that at me. Well, and now, now your mind's just going crazy, isn't it? So now when I go to, to bed tonight, I will dream of that match. And next week, I'll come back and see if I've changed my mind. 
That sounds good. And we'll hold you to that because we're over. We're out of time at this point, Bill. Oh, we're, no. We're over. It's already over. And we do miss Teddy. Uh, Teddy, we, uh, wherever you are and what you're doing on this secret assignment of yours, uh, we hope you're having fun. And we hope to see you again next week, which I believe we will be seeing him on the next show. So hang in there. He'll be right back. Bill, I've enjoyed it, my friend. Me too. We always enjoy getting together, whether it's uh, – and tell them what's going on in October, by the way. Uh, oh, we got uh, the International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. Uh, you and I will be hosting that event uh, yes, this year. Yes, yes, yes. And we're going back to our original home, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Bill. Yeah, in uh, Albany, New York. At the uh, uh, What hotel was that? I can't remember. That's why. I think it was the Doubletree. I, 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 I can't remember. We'll tell you on the next show as we get closer. So especially. You know, but go, go to the International Professional Wrestling Hall Hall of Fame page and make your plans. It's going to be a whole weekend yes. with Fan Fest, dinner, and awards. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need to make sure you go by and see us as well because we will be hosting the event and we always look forward to seeing uh, everybody out there when they yeah. stop by and say hey to us. So please stop by. Uh, again, that uh, go to International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame's uh, website. Uh, I wish I could tell it to you off the top of my head. For the life of me, I cannot. Well, just go to Google. Go to International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame. It's right there. 